and today the topic is let go to heal. When I was diagnosed with cancer, I realized I was a pretty bad control freak. I learned pretty quickly that I couldn't control anything to the point that I got so beaten down by the whole journey at the beginning because I was having so many delays in my treatment because I had sore throats and coughs and colds. I couldn't have my chemotherapy treatment. What I expected to do and have, I couldn't have. I couldn't see the end of that treatment. And at about session four, and I had 12 sessions of chemo, I ended up in hospital with a bleeding that nobody could explain. And I was basically dying. And the doctors couldn't understand why I had that bleeding. They thought I was going to go into menopause during a chemotherapy and the only patient that didn't go into menopause. So the doctors were trying to give me different medications to stop the bleeding. And it got to the point that they said, Angelica, your body is no longer recovering. Your red cells is going down and your white cells are zero. Of course, you can't leave the hospital. You have to stay in, you know, in quarantine. Uh, you can't see anyone and we need to give you a blood transfusion straight away. After two bags of blood and a bag of iron, and I would wake up every day and I would ask the nurses, can you tell me what my white cells are? Can you tell me what my red cells are? I couldn't see my kids. My kids were only six and four at the time, and I was very, very sad about it. I just wanted to go home, and I was trying to once more control everything. I was going crazy. I didn't feel like pain or discomfort or anything like that, but of course, my body was needed a lot to recover. One of the oncologists that it was coming by every day came to see me by herself in one afternoon and told me, Angelica, you've got to let go. You've got to stop waking up every day asking the nurses what are my blood levels. Your body is going to do what it will do whenever it wants to do. Right now, you need to stay in hospital because this is the safest place for you to stay. If you go out there and you get a cold, you could die. So you need to let go. And for a moment, and she spoke in Spanish with me because I can speak Spanish and I I understood she came in as a friend. She came in like beyond being just a doctor. And I realized in that moment that I was still trying to control everything. I was still trying to control every minute and everything that happened in my body, in my mind, in my world. And that was just wasting my energy away, wasting my healing power away. I let go. And I just went all in and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to read a book. And I just let it go. And I just kept focusing on what I could focus on each day, which was just eat, drink, go to the toilet and go around the hospital for a little walk. And I stopped completely trying to focus on what's going to happen tomorrow. And am I going to be out of here tomorrow? Needless to say, my body recovered two days later when I let go. We live in a world that we think we can control things. And when you get really sick, you're sick, you realize that you can't control anything. And although it was a challenging situation for me and I almost died to learn this lesson, I'm here to tell you, don't, don't do what I did. You don't, don't let yourself get so sick that you need to learn the same lesson. Learn from my experience. Letting go is absolutely key to healing. Your body is more intelligent than your, than your mind. If you have something like cancer, your body just needs a break. Manifesting healing, it's the same as manifesting money. It's the same as manifesting a relationship. It's the same as manifesting anything good in life. All the time that you think that you can control things and you're trying to piece everything together and then I'm going to do this and this is going to happen and that's going to happen. And when it doesn't happen, you get frustrated and angry or whatever, whatever, whatever. You're just wasting your time. You're just wasting your energy to heal. Let me tell you, when you're so sick as I was and you were just literally dying, you can't afford that. Let it go.